days and nights fly past, fly past. What are you becoming? That's a question the Buddha has you ask every day. Ask yourself every day. Because you look in the mirror, you seem to be the same person as you were before, but that's not what he's talking about. What kind of becomings is your mind taking on? Look at what you do, look at what you focus on, look at what you obsess about. That's what you're becoming. And you're becoming in the right direction, because becoming is a process. What are you talking about? Seeing things as they are. The Buddha's emphasis is on seeing things as they have come to be. But before you can see that, you have to watch the process of becoming what you do with the raw material that has come to be. In which direction are you headed? As the Buddha said, one of the blessings of life is when you direct yourself in the right direction. You see that the mind is getting clearer and the mind is getting more responsible. Basically becoming more and more mature in its search for happiness. Okay, you're becoming in the right direction. If you're slipping back, you've got to turn yourself around. Because directing the mind, other people can give you directions, but you're the one who does the actual directing. They can give you advice, they can give you recommendations. But you have to decide where is the best direction you want to head. Because we don't just sit here. We're moving. We're going someplace. We have something in mind. We shape the present for a purpose, for the sake of something. That phrase, for the sake of something, that's in everything we do. Which, of course, means that we're not just matter that happens to be aware. Because matter doesn't have any intentions, it doesn't have any meanings, it doesn't have any purpose, it just does its thing. But it's an act of consciousness. You have a purpose. The question is, what are your purposes? You get to choose them. The universe doesn't choose them for you. It simply is laid out in such a way that if you act on unskillful intentions, they're going to suffer. If you act on skillful ones, you're going to avoid suffering, and you have the potential to find your happiness. So look at your intentions. Look at the for the sake of in your mind. And make sure it's heading in the right direction. So that if the Buddha were to show up and say, days and nights fly past, fly past, where are you becoming right now? You can give him an answer, a true answer, that you would be proud to give. <laughs>